Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in crypto and bring around a bite-sized piece. Today we're doing a little bit something different. We're gonna do a follow-up story about Cardano and why to stake it and why not to stake it and uh, everything in between. So first of all, we're gonna talk about uh, ADA, uh, why to stake it, and maybe a reason why not to stake it. We're going to talk about uh, exchanges and how they relate to uh, stake service providers and uh, what it is as far as like the pros and cons. We're going to talk about how to download the Daedalus wallet. There's a, now there's three different wallets you can use. You can use Daedalus, Yoroi, or ADA Lite. But in this one, we're just going to talk about Daedalus to make it super simple. And next to last, we're going to talk about ADA transfer, how to get it off exchanges if you want to into your Daedalus wallet. And the last one is how just, I, I think personally, how bring it easy it is to actually delegate uh, to uh, any stake pool uh, service provider that you actually want to. So let's just break it down real quick and just talk about why to stake ADA or why not. Well, first of all, uh, my thing is, is this, why not stake it? I mean, if you have your Cardano and it's just sitting there anywhere, uh, whether that be in a cold storage wallet like a ledger or some other type of uh, cold storage device or on any of your uh, wallets on your phone or maybe in exchanges uh, why not stake it because right now and uh, as i've been going for quite some time you can earn rewards up to four to six percent uh, for doing absolutely nothing uh, for your cardano now today it is july uh, 6th 2021 so the price of Cardano is about $1.40, but what if it goes up to like $3 or $4 or $10 or $20? Why wouldn't you start staking it now just to get those rewards? Because uh, unlike Ethereum 2.0, uh, Cardano doesn't never leaves your wallet. You can delegate it to any different uh, service providers or stake pool operators that you want to. You can undelegate, delegate. There's no lockup periods. There's no slashing rewards, nothing like that. It's so simple. And to me, I'm just like, I think you're just leaving money on the table. Now, this is just, this is not investment uh, advice. This is investment opinion. And to me, when I look at these things, I'm always thinking about what have I left on the table to actually make this uh, work out for me? So my big thing is, is why not? Now, on the flip side of that, people might, might be just saying, you know what, Rob, I'm too busy. I don't have time to do all this stuff. I'm just going to keep it where it's at. And that's it. And that is fine. You can do whatever you want to. But if you're willing to invest three to five minutes, let me show you something. All right, so let's talk about uh, the other part here, which is uh, exchanges versus a stake pool operator. So some people will say, well, why even send it off an exchange like a Voyager, like, uh, I don't know, Celsius. Well, actually, no, Celsius doesn't do it yet. Uh, any other type of, of exchange, centralized exchange, where I'm actually gaining yield on it right now for doing absolutely nothing. And again, you can do ex just leave it there. But the thing is, I always think about is this. First of all, are they actually staking it or are they doing some kind of rehypothecation? Are they giving away to uh, these other types of individuals or institutions to allow them to play with your cryptocurrency? And, and if they are, are they not? They're not. Remember, you're not in control of your private keys. So if something happens to that crypto, uh, you don't have the private keys. Uh, adios, uno dos adios, your crypto is gone. And how many times have we seen uh, these centralized exchanges? just up and lose cryptocurrency. So uh, that is just one of the things that I think of. And on another flip side, I always think to myself, I'm never gonna leave all my crypto on one exchange or one cold storage device or one warm device. I'm gonna try to spread those around and uh, for the ones that I think are the safest and go from there. So I'm not saying to, to dump everything into a, a stake pool operator or to dump it all into one exchange, whatever else. Uh, maybe uh, this is just what I do is just kind of spread things around. So maybe you have like 100 ADA in one exchange and then uh, maybe 100 uh, ADA uh, for, for uh, to actually stake it. And it just depends on what you want to do. But that's just how I see it. Again, you're not in control. If it's not your your uh, private keys, it is not your crypto. And then, of course, if something happens to that exchange, uh, off goes your, your cryptocurrency, whatever that is, Cardano, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and that's it. And then what I really want to get into now is how to download the actual Daedalus wallet. And that's pretty simple, really, because all we got to do is I'm, I'll link this in the description uh, in this video. And you just go to DaedalusWallet.io. It is part of IOHK and Cardano. And you just click on download. Pretty simple. And then they have different versions for Mac or for PC or whatever else. And then you just follow the directions along there. So I'm not going to go over that because that's super simple to do. And uh, again, for this one, you can stake your Cardano in different wallets. Um, ones that we are usually used to is Daedalus Wallet, where you have to download the entire blockchain, so it takes a little bit longer, but it's very secure and it's very easy to use. I like that part. 
Ada Light and Yolroy, which is um, uh, created by uh, Emergo. So you can do those things. And in the video that I'm going to link to at the very end, where we get into the details about D news and about uh, non slashing wards, how everything stays in the wallet, how we compare to everything else, how to actually stake, and everything in between. Uh, we talk about how to stake with those other wallets. But for this one, just to make it very simple, we're just going to stick with Daedalus Wallet, download it, and off we go. So let's let's do that, shall we? Let's take some Cardano off an exchange. Uh, maybe let's take a look at uh, Coinbase. I think a lot of people have that. Maybe uh, we'll, use, we'll also use Voyager and see how, the, how we can transfer it off into our Daedalus Wallet and then how to actually stake it. So let me uh, pop over here real quick. And here we have my uh, Daedalus wallet. And on the very top here, or on the right-hand side, this is my Daedalus wallet. And it's got my Dan new wallet with 105 whopping Cardano. Fantastic. On the left-hand side here is my phone. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to transfer ADA, Cardano, over to your Daedalus wallet. So super simple. So let's start upper left-hand corner here. We've got Coinbase. I'm going to click on Coinbase first. Then we'll, do, then we'll do Voyager. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So Coinbase. And I've got my uh, portfolio here. See where it says Cardano right there? I'm gonna click on Cardano. And it's gonna tell me, you own 96 bucks with a Cardano. Watch out. So see where it says trade and then ADA wallet. I'm gonna click on the ADA wallet. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's two options here. I can click on this uh, barcode, the QR code, or that little uh, arrow that looks like to the right in the upper right-hand corner. So really to make this super simple, I'm just gonna click on the arrow here. And this is my actual, uh, how much do I want to send? Okay, so let's say I want to send $50 worth of Cardano. That seems pretty realistic. I'm going to click on continue. And it's going to ask me, okay, well, where do you want to send this to? Which mobile, email, or address? Uh, Coinbase has that uh, functionality, but to, to, to show you how this really works and everywhere else, when I go to my uh, Daedalus wallet, I'm in my Dan new wallet. I'm going to receive. I don't I want to send anything. I want to receive some ADA. And there's a bunch of different addresses. And, you know, based upon, and this is just for security, because once you share this, you can use, you can just say, okay, I don't want to use any different addresses that I've already used before. And just, it's just a, a safety measure. So for me, I'm just going to use a new one. I'm going to click on share. And then I can do two things. See that QR code? I can put that in my phone and scan it, or I can copy the address. So I'm going to copy the address on this one. And then I'm going to go back to my phone. And I'm going to paste it in. Pasty. And I'm going to take a look just to make sure. Blah, 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 A7K. And look over here. Blah, 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 A7K. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Note, I'm going to say, uh, well, Coinbase to Daedalus. Whoops. Coinbase to Daedalus. And I'm going to preview the send. And it's going to ask me, is this what you want to do? Do you want to send this to blah, 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 A7K? Pay with my wallet. How much are my network fees? Watch out, 0 0.18. Uh, so it's going to cost me 24 cents to do that. Okay. And I can click on send now. But just for giggles, let me show you something. Remember that part over here where we said 50 bucks and I can continue? And then I had two options here. I can put a mobile email or address. If I click on that little QR code right there, I can scan the QR code. So remember that address over here where I shared it? And I can just do this. Whoop. Scan, sucker. And then, same thing. Uh, now, it's either way you want to do it, either with the uh, with the long one or the QR code, or whatever else. Uh, note, Coinbase to Daedalus. And that's two ways you can do it. Pretty simple, right? I'm going to click on Preview Send. Same thing. Hey, 21 cents. I saved myself three cents. Baller. And then I'm going to send now. And... Uh, and then, of course, on mine, I have what's a two-step verification. I highly recommend that. That is for, let me see here, for the authenticator. So on this one in the very middle right here in between CoinStats and Voyager, uh, definitely get those. That is uh, another method of safety. So I'm just going to blur this out and grab this. And I got the code, and I paste it in, and I submit. 
and success. $50 and a penny. This transaction usually takes less than five minutes, which is true. And I'm gonna click done. What I'm really cu curious about is how fast this actually takes because uh, usually it takes like seconds. So let's see. Oh, shoot, I think I got it. So then now I'm in my damn new wallet. I'm in the receive. I don't really send anything. Summary, look at that. Wow, look at that. I received 35 ADA, just like that. Just for the time I was talking to you. That's pretty cool. So, okay, so now we have our ADA here, right? I mean, we've already had some ADA here. I just wanted to show you how, how it's done. Also, that was uh, Coinbase. Let's real quick, before we delegate, let's take a look at uh, how to do that in uh, Voyager. So Voyager, I'm here in my crypto stuff. I'm going to click on Voyager, blah, blah, blah. And then... You're going to go to where you have your Cardano. Like, this is my Cardano. I've got a whopping 15 ADA. Watch out, 22 bucks. So see where it says, like, you know, it's got uh, little graphs here. You can do this. Underneath that, it says, you own 15.9 ADA. And it says, transfer. All right, I'm going to transfer. I'm going to, I'm not going to deposit. I'm going to withdraw. And I'm going to send them where? The same place I just sent the other stuff. So, again, I can uh, click on that button in the upper right-hand corner, that QR code. And it would be all over the place. Uh, but on this one, to make it simple, I'm just going to, oh man, look at that. And I'm going to paste this in, paste, blah, 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 A7K, great. And I'm going to send, let's send a 12 ADA. What? No. 12 ADA, <laughs> 16 bucks. Okay, and then I can slide to withdraw. The fee though is 2 ADA, just so you know, it's like uh, like 3 bucks by math. Well, 280, whatever. And I'm going to slide it. And again, with this with the uh, codes, because I don't want it to be ripped off. Confirm. Great, your withdrawal of toilet is initiated. We're gonna check it. Check your email to verify your request. So now I have to go back to my email and actually verify that. This is just me. I had this set up because uh, I'm crazy and I don't like to lose any crypto. So I have to go to my email and just click on, yes, I agree to this. So let me do that real quick, stop the video. And here we are in the email and it says, confirm your blockchain withdrawal. 12 ADA, it's actually going to be kind of 2 ADA for that. And then uh, confirm withdrawal, I click on that, and that should be it. And withdrawal confirmed, so great, we got it all done, fantastic. And then we will come over here and check our wallet, and maybe at some point we get the 12 ADA, but that's not the point. The point is just to show you exactly how different uh, exchanges or different brokerage or different apps are able to transfer to Daedalus. It's all about sending and receiving, and that's really the big thing. So now that we have it, let's go to, let's Let's delegate some of this 140 ADA to a uh, stake pool operator. So on the left-hand side right here, we've got uh, our wallet. We've got this little uh, box looking thing. And over here, actually, I'm gonna show you this real quick. When you click on this voting apparatus, you can actually, this is one of the great things about Daedalus. You can start to vote on the different projects that are coming up. There's a Catalyst voting app, which you can download on the App Store, on Google Play. I would scan those and then go from there. But this is how you actually do those things. And of course, down here is all the different uh, settings and that's it. So let's go over here. Let's delegate right quick to some place that we could do it. Ah, look at this. Okay, so here we are and it looks like we've got, oh, look at that, Dan Newalt was already delegated to Hashoshi's um, stake pool. So let's go over here to stake pools where it says delegation center up here, stake pools at the very top. And I'm delegating to three state pools right now. My own, <laughs> Hash, Hashoshi, and Meld, which we talked about uh, in previous videos. So how to do this real quick. Let's search, first of all, let's go to Hashes. And uh, send it. let's find a state pool. I don't know, any of these things. Let's find DNews. That sounds pretty good. And then there's DNews, and then it's ranked and everything else. You can go here. And I'm going to, first of all, I want to make sure I'm getting the right one. So it says DNews. The official staking pool, digital asset news, powered by Microsoft Reserve. Da, da, da. Okay, so that's it. And then it gives the uh, website where you can go there to find all the information about how we compared all the different uh, stake pool operators. So I'm going to delegate to this pool right here. Delegate wallet. Uh, follow these steps. Wallet selection, stake pool, delegation. So I'm going to case continue. Select wallet. Again, Dan new wallet. Continue. And it's going to ask you, look, you've currently selected DNews. Uh, Choose one of your recent stake pool choices. D news, okay? And then, or select a stake. And it's gonna ask you again, do you really wanna do this? I'm gonna click continue. 
and then confirm your delegation choice to DNU stake pool, stake pool ID. There's the fees, spending password, put that in. Great, and now the stake from your wallet is now delegated to the, the digital asset new stake pool and blah, 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 blah. So just so you know, when you delegate to these different stake pools, it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually get uh, your actual rewards. So in the video that we talked about, let me come over here. In the video that we talked about uh, for the actual staking, which I'm gonna link at the very end of this video, we talk about the time frame, how many epics or epochs, uh, everybody says it differently, and how you do these things, uh, how we compare, how it is with uh, the Yolroy Ada Lightwall, and everything in between for staking your Cardano. So that is essentially it, the basics. And now we're going to a little bit more intermediate stuff. Uh, again, I will link that at the very end. So that's it for today's video on that. If you liked the video and uh, found a little value, give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, like mostly news stories. But today we did some more things just on, uh, on Cardano staking. And that is it. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.